Hey there, do you know any secrets? Oh, we have a lot of secrets here in the St. Clair Historical Museum. I'm Bob Freehan, and I guess I ought to put on an old chef's hat and an old kitchen apron because we're in the old time kitchen room at the museum. And what's unique about this room is that all the appliances and all the gadgets in this old time kitchen are all hand operated. Because before we had electricity to run all these things, we had to have objects or utensils or appliances that were hand operated. And the secret is, even though those things were hand operated, over the past 200 and 100 years before electricity, even those hand operated kitchen gadgets were always changing, always being improved upon. For example, originally if you wanted to clean a rug, you'd have to take the rug outside and use just a stick like this, a rug beater, and you'd beat it and beat the dirt out of it. Well then somebody came up with a hand operated vacuum cleaner. And we have one here in the museum. And the way it works is you put the bottom of it down on the rug, put your hand up here, put the other hand up here, and you create a vacuum. So we're always improving on hand-operated appliances. Now here's, here's an original iron, maybe a couple hundred years old. And you'd set this iron on top of the stove and heat it up and then use this iron. But you always had to stay close to the stove. Now, and somebody invented a different type of iron. Looks about the same, but it has a fuel source like gasoline or kerosene or white, white gasoline up here and you'd light this and it would create its own heat, a little burner would create its own heat and you could take the iron any place you wanted to so you didn't have to stay close to the stove. Speaking of stoves, originally when we wanted to heat something or cook something we had to cook over an open fire and then gradually they started cooking things in fireplaces inside the house and then eventually Somebody created a wood-burning fire uh, stove, and we have one here in the museum. And what happens with this stove, it has an oven, and it has a place on the other end where you would put, you would put wood, and light the wood, create a fire, and that fire would heat up all of the areas on the stove. It would heat up the top, the top shelf of the stove, it would heat up the oven, and it would also heat up this container down in the right-hand side of the stove, where there's water. So you always had hot water available. No electricity, but a stove that heated things just like they do now, once we had electricity. And speaking of electricity, we had a problem keeping things cold before we had electricity. Now, ice will keep things cold. Before we really came up with an idea of how to use ice, we actually had to use um, just salt to preserve things and because we couldn't refrigerate it. Somebody then came up with an ice box, and we have an ice box here in the St. Clair Historical Museum. And it's called an ice box because in the door on the left-hand side, there's an opening where you would put blocks of ice. And on the right-hand side, you put the objects or the foods that you wanted to keep cold. Now, you had to tell the ice man how much ice you needed because an ice man came around in a truck or a horse-drawn carriage and he had ice that had been cut out of the river in the wintertime and stored in a big ice house. And you hung this sign outside your house. And the sign said you needed 25 pounds of ice, or you needed 50 pounds of ice, or you needed 75 pounds of ice, or 100 pounds of ice. So ice is how we kept things cold until we got electricity, and then we created refrigerators. Now there are some hand-operated things that we still have in our kitchen. Now this is an old time cheese grater, or a cheese slicer, but you may have in your kitchen, if you looked around, you may have something that somebody uses uh, to slice or to grate cheese, and it's still hand operated. You can have an electric one, but this one is hand operated. Now we also have a gadget, you may want to mix something in your kitchen. And so, use this device to mix it. Now, sometimes, not the newer ones, they run on electricity, but the idea is the same. And when you wanted to wash clothes, a long time ago, you had to use a washboard, and you would scrub the, the clothes up and down the washboard. 
And then somebody came up with an idea of how to use a lever and create a washing machine in a totally different way than using a washboard. And here's a picture of a Maytag hand-operated washing machine that we have here in the museum. And you would move that lever back and forth that you see on the right, on the left-hand side of the machine, and it would make the, the um, turnstile inside the washing machine, it would make it turn around, make it agitate just like an electric-powered washing machine. And you might have also had a butter churn in your old-time kitchen. And it wasn't operated by electricity, it was operated by hand. And you would put, and here's a picture of the butter churn. And you would put milk inside that front cover, and then you would crank the butter churn by hand. So, always even improving, and that's our secret, even the hand operated, the pre-electrical type of appliances in the kitchen, people were always making improvements on them to make life easier, just like when we get electricity, it makes a lot of the things that we do in the kitchen a lot easier also. Now our last item, our last artifact, is our contest artifact. And this is the object that we'd like you to identify in the contest, because if you remember, I, I tell you, I explain what it is, and here's a picture of it. Uh, it has a hole on the bottom, and it has little vents on the side, and it's shaped somewhat like a tent, uh, like a teepee, but has a flat top. So for your contest, if you'd like to join in the contest, take that sheet of paper that you have, draw a line on it, put the number 6 next to the line, and then write the word kitchen. And on top of the line, I put the word in that you think identifies this particular object. Now since this is the last episode, if you want to join the contest and also qualify for a prize, we need you to send that sheet of paper with your six guesses to the museum. And on the screen now what you'll see is the address for the museum. It's the St. Clair Historical Museum, 308 South 4th Street, in St. Clair, 48079. But I do want you to make sure that on the paper, before you put it in an envelope and send it to us, that you put your name, your address, and your telephone number or some way that we can get in touch with you to let you know if you win a prize. I'm Bob Freehan, and thank you for joining us on Secrets of the St. Clair Museum. <music>